Hi everyone, I'm super excited this morning because my foil quill starter set from Blitzy has just arrived and with this starter set you can turn your electronic cutting machine into a machine that can foil. It looks like magic, honestly guys, it looks incredible. So this is the box the starter set comes in. It just says on the side here that it works with the following electronic cutting machines. Cricut, Silhouette, Brother and Sizzix. And then on the back here there's just the contents of the box. So let's get into it. This is everything in the box stuck on the back of it. You've got a couple of adapters for two of the machines and the little metal heating plate that protects your machine when everything's heating up. There's three teeny rolls of foil, they look like that, six inches wide. There's a rose gold, a gold and a silver. There's, there's probably a lot more on the roll than it looks like there is because they look quite teeny. So that's the foil itself. And then these are the USB powered heat pens. So there's three of those. The pink one is a fine tip. It's a 0.5 millimeter tip. This one is the standard tip and that's 1.5 millimeters. And this is the bold tip and it's 2.5 millimeters. So you can use a different tip depending on how wide you want the foil lines to be. There's also a tape, just to tape the foil down onto whatever you're foiling. And then there's adapters for the different machines. A is for a silhouette machine. B for a brother. I think that's a brother scanning cart. C for cricket. And D for Sizzix. Just quickly looking at the instructions that come with this. It says to select the coordinating adapter for your electronic cutting machine and attach to the foil quill. So I have a Cricut Explore Air 2 so I'll use the C attachment and then you just screw that adapter onto the pen that you want to use. I'm calling it a pen, um, it's sort of a heat pen isn't it? So you then insert this into the machine carriage, plug it into a USB power source, you pop this under the pen because the pen obviously gets very hot and then wait five minutes for that to heat up. Then you select the colour foil that you'd like to use and you cut the foil to the design that you need leaving about a one inch margin on all the sides. You tape the foil down to the surface of the material that you want to foil. Then place that onto your machine's cutting mat and off you go. So some of the tips and tricks that they say here, they say the fine tip is recommended for detail and small fonts. The standard tip is recommended for regular use. And of course the bold tip is recommended for thick lines. The heat pens are designed to be used with the foil quill heat activated foil. Although I believe they should work with any heat activated foil and I'm going to try that out if not in this video in a subsequent video. And they say here it works on paper, cardstock, bookboard, vinyl, acetate, vellum, leather and wood. So I'll definitely give a couple of these surfaces a go in this video. Now that I've unboxed everything that came in the starter set, it's time to move over to my computer and my Cricut machine. This is my Cricut Explore Air 2 and I'm just going to put the foil pen into it. So if we unlatch the pen adapter and then just push up on the adapter while pushing down on this bit, then that pops out. 
like so. So that's the adapter that we put these pens in for writing. And then we get the C adapter that came with the foil quill pen and just screw the adapter onto the pen and then pop that pen, oh, pop that pen into the slot. It doesn't click or anything, I don't know if it's meant to click. Looks like we just pop it in and close it. And then this will need to be plugged into a power source. I have here a battery power pack that I use to charge my phone. I'm just going to plug the USB cord into there. You can see the light comes on on the foil quill. We'll just put that to the side and out of the way and make sure you get your little protector here and just pop that under there to protect the Cricut from the heat while that heats up. And while that heats up, I'm going to open Cricut Design Space. I've opened Cricut Design Space and I have a blank canvas in front of me. I've decided to foil on a planner dashboard and so I want to go and look at images as I'm looking for a coffee image. So I'm just going to search coffee and I'm just going to tick the make sure the free is ticked and just look for free images about coffee. I quite like this one here, so I'm going to insert that image. And for my planner dashboard, it's five inches wide, so I'd like this to be three inches wide. So I'll just change the width to three. So that's the size I'd like it to foil at. The next thing I need to do, you can see over on the right here, that the image is a cut image. So I need to change it to a draw image. As if you think about it, the heat pen is a pen and it draws. So if we go up to line type on the top here and change cut to draw, that changes the line, all of the lines to draw. And then I just want to attach all of these together. So we'll go attach and then up in the top right, go to make it. And you can see here the image that will be foiled. To make sure the foiling is in the right place on the planner dashboard, I've put my piece of paper on my Cricut mat. And I can see that the side of the dashboard is 11 inches. The paper is 11 inches wide. So I want to move this over to be between 7 and 10 inches. And then that way it will be in the center of the dashboard and then I just want to move it down a little bit as my dashboard will be seven inches high if I move that down to there so the bottoms at five inches there'll be two inches of blank space for the dashboard and just under two inches there this is a Cricut mat that has the plastic protection on it I'm just going to use that in order to measure out the foil that I want to cut so my design is approximately three inches square, so I want to cut the foil at approximately four inches square. This is the paper I'd like to foil, and my image is going to print from about two inches down and at the seven inch mark, which means I want to put this paper about one inch down Using the tape that came with the foil quill starter set, I'm just going to tape the top of the foil. Wow, it's really wide tape. I think the tape's super wide, so I'm actually going to cut it in half. Hopefully this doesn't cause any problems, given I've never done this before. So I'll put tape on the top of the foil and then I just want to put the tape down on the bottom of the foil and then just tape both sides I 
Okay, this is the very first time I've done this, so hopefully I've done this correctly. And now I'm going to take this back over to my Cricut. Here I am back at my Cricut machine. I'm just going to remove the metal plate and just insert my mat as I usually do. And now I'll just go over to Cricut Design Space and press the continue button. And now I just need to press the flashing Cricut button. So we'll just unload the mat. <laughs> we seem to have made a beginner's mistake. Uh, despite my measuring where it was meant to print, it seems that I've got that printing a little bit wrong. I'm just going to take the tape off here and I worked out what I did wrong. My maths was completely wrong. I had a three inch square design, so to leave an inch all around each edge, I actually needed a five inch square of foil, not a four inch square of foil. So that was not very smart of me. But never mind, let's see what we have anyway. Just take this off. It's a little bit annoying because you can see this foil hasn't been used, so I did have enough foil if I just had put it in the right place. So we'll lift the foil up. And there we have a foiled coffee first. Hopefully it's a bit hard to catch the light, but there is coffee first apart from where we lost the foil. And then my intention is that I will cut my dashboard from this. I'm going to work with my mistake. So we'll just take that off here. That's the reverse side of the paper. So you can see you can touch this and it does not come off. It's well, it's well stuck on. I'm really impressed actually. It's definitely stuck on really well. So I'm really impressed with that. I'm not so impressed with my mistake, but <laughs> these things happen. What I'd like to do now is actually print on leather. I have a strong grip Cricut mat here, and I'm just going to attach some leather to that. I have cut this blue leather. I'll just zoom in. I've cut this blue leather to be the size of a B6 Traveller's Notebook and I was just wanting to print on it with foil and see how that went. So we'll pop that down on the mat. I'm back in Cricut Design Space and now I'd like to upload one of the designs that came on one of the foil quill USB sticks. So this is the image here, Create Calm. You can tag it here. So there's the image there and I'm just going to insert this image. Okay, I'm not sure why those bits were black but it was set to a cut file being an SVG file so I did just go up to line type and change that to draw. I think I might make it about three and a half inches wide. I'm going to try using the medium tip foil quill. I'm not sure how that's going to go, but I've got plenty of leather if it goes wrong. So I'll go to make it. I just need to change my mat to a 12 by 24 inch mat as I have it on a large mat. And then I just want to move the design down to where I actually want it to. I need to rotate it, so just holding the shift button down and the rotate. This is the foil pen for approximately five minutes. And now I'm going to hit continue on the design. I'll just select the material that I'm using, which is leather. 
I'm not sure if this is relevant as the machine isn't actually cutting, but we'll go with it. Now you can see when you're cutting leather, it suggests moving the star wheels to the right of the machine. These star wheels can mark and damage the leather or cause it to rumple up. So it's a good idea to move them when you're cutting leather. There's actually one under here. Push that all the way to the right. Okay, now I'll remove this. Whoops! <laughs> I'll remove that and I'll load the cricket mat. And press the go. Okay, that's finished, so we'll just eject the mat. This is what we have here, and we'll just take this over to the table. Okay, this is the very first time I've foiled leather. Unfortunately, I didn't start the video when I started peeling the tape off, but luckily I realised before I peeled the last piece of tape off, which was there. So let's lift this up and see, oh my god, see what we have. <gasps> it worked! So you can see here all the sections missing from the foil. And then on the leather, hopefully you can see there the design, Create Calm. And obviously if I move it for the light, you can see the foiling on that design. So that has worked really well actually. Wow. That is, that, that's just mind boggling actually. I'm getting quite excited with all of the things I could possibly do now with my leather. So this is the very first time I've used this strong grip mat. It is indeed a really strong grip. Oh, goodness me, that was a strong grip. So here we have it here. And so what I've done there is created a cover for a traveler's notebook. I still need to put the holes and elastics in that. But obviously, any image that you have, you can actually draw onto the cover and have a lovely foiled cover. So that's actually really quite exciting. What I'd like to do now is I have this brand of heat activated foil, which is GoPress foil from Couture Creations. It's a heat activated foil. And what I'd like to do is just test this to see if I get the same result as using this foil. So to test this foil, I'm just going to use paper and just quickly create another design for another dashboard on paper. Here I have the fine tip pen. It's been heating up for five minutes. And here I've put some of the Couture Creations foil on a piece of paper. And I'm just going to load the mat, like usual, and hit the go button. So that's finished, so we'll just press the button to remove it from... I'll just peel the tape off here. Because I changed my mind about where I was going to put the mandala, you can see I have quite a lot of foil there that's been unused, but that's okay, I can keep that and use that another time.
if this works. So remember this is Couture Creations Heat Activated Foil. So you can see here the missing design, maybe you can see that, and here you can see the design that's been foiled on the paper. It looks actually perfect, it looks really really good. So this is using the fine pen, the 0.5 millimeter pen, and you can see the detail of that mandala. It's a bit harder to see on the darker color there, but if we turn it to catch the light, it's a very dull day today, unfortunately. Not a great day for filming at all. But you can see there, the mandala is perfect. It looks really good. So I'll just take this piece of paper off here. And you can see that foiled mandala. So this here, this heat activated foil from Couture Creations seems to work with the foil quill. So that's good because I have some on hand. So looking at this one here, while the last one was drawing, it hasn't, the image hasn't completely come through. I think maybe with a detailed image like this one, it actually needed the fine tip pen. You can see there when I turn it for the light, some of the detail of the leaves and the flowers and so on is actually missing. But I'm still completely blown away by it. I still think it looks amazing. And definitely with some tinkering, there's so many things to do. It would just be incredible, all the things that I can do with this. This is just in the first hour of owning it. Then I've already started making things. So I'm really, really thrilled with it. Um, and there will be more tutorials coming. So thanks for watching the unboxing and my first little play with the We Are Memory Keepers foil quill. Um, please subscribe if you'd like to see more because I'm really excited by this magic tool and I'll definitely be doing more with it. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Bye.